Hi, my name is Will Stutterheim, and I'm a counselor at the Kelly Center at Fort Hayes State University. Today, I'd like to talk to you about being able to manage the stress during this current outbreak that we have going on. During these times, it's very normal to feel sad, stressed, confused, scared, and maybe even angry uh, during this, this time. I think it's very important to be able to find healthy coping skills just to be able to manage your stress better uh, as we kind of navigate through these more challenging times. One of the most important things that I think that people can do is be able to talk to people that they trust, uh, being able to contact friends or family members, uh, and just being able to have good conversations with them. Maybe about this topic, maybe about other topics though, um, and just being able to chat in general. Be very careful to kind of watch not just your emotional state, but also the emotional state of your friends and your family. Sometimes it might be a good time to talk to them, and other times they might be too worked up to be able to have a good conversation. So know when is the right time that way. Also very importantly during this time, be able to establish and find healthy habits and healthy lifestyle uh, changes that way. This can be getting the proper diet, making sure that we're eating the right things and not putting junk in our system. Um, again, making sure we get good sleep, uh, finding good exercise as best as we can under the limits we have going on. Good social contacts is critically important. Uh, just being able to connect with people, even if that is just by the phone or uh, via like video chatting, very important to be able to find that way to socially connect with others. Also be very careful not to fall into unhealthy habits to be able to cope with these times. Um, drinking, drug use are, are very much concerns at this time. Excessive social media, binge watching things. Just watch all those unhealthy habits that we may have a natural desire to engage in. Uh, we need to be very careful not to just go into those uh, and, and be able to cope that way instead. Uh, it's not going to be able to help our mental health uh, and oftentimes is very much a detriment and just adds more to our stress in the long run. Also make sure that we gather information uh, in a way that doesn't overwhelm us. There's going to be a lot of information on a daily basis. Things are going to be changing from one day to the next. Just make sure that you're taking in information as you can cope with it and you're not getting yourself overwhelmed during the course of this process. And make sure we're getting the information done uh, in the right places uh, in, in a healthy way. Also, make sure that we're not just watching uh, the TV all the time, listening to media. Uh, make sure we're taking in uh, information in a way that works for us. And again, we're just not getting ourselves overwhelmed. Also during this time, it's a really good time to take a look at previous skills that maybe I have neglected. Um, maybe I used to really enjoy my artwork and now I have some more time for it or I'm in a place where I can do that. Uh, maybe I've got some old coping skills that at my disposal now um, that I haven't had in a while. So be taking a look at the list of things that you do to be able to cope uh, and maybe think of what still works from uh, when, what you're doing at Fort Hayes and then also being able to think in my current environment are the things I need to add to that uh, are the things I need to add to my menu so I have things that can help me manage my stress uh, during this time. Again, just be thinking about this. These are just some tips. There's a lot of other things we can do to manage our stress during this time. Uh, just these are things to be able to think about as these next couple months go on to develop healthy habits and healthy routines to help you through the rest of college this semester. I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.